Guys, this is probably gonna be the only time I'm gonna be doing this. I'm not gonna be doing this on any other street other than here because everybody has their phones out. I'm kind of glad because I want you guys to get a little taste of uh, what Brazil's like as I get to look Brazilian in my Brazilian outfit. The shorts, the flip flops, the Brazilian shirt, and of course my features, which look Brazilian. All right, let's see what we got here. Museum of Art, which is here. I just was there yesterday. Uh, you probably see it recorded. We'll just get a little taste of what Brazil is like. Or at least Sao Paulo. Can't say we're all of Brazil, because you know Brazil is a little different. Uh, you already know all of Brazil varies. Uh, man, on the, down the street playing guitar. Let me see how we can do this. Playing his uh, guitar. Karaoke style. <laughs> Taking selfies. This is the place to take it. Do you not take it? Do you not get it? Selling coconuts. Ah, oh, look, Spider Man. Ready to see Spider Man, people? See Spider Man. Spider-Man. Right, so think of Brazil. You already know. It's a Sunday. They close off the streets. Hey, look, it's a dippy bag. Mamas and the papas. You know, it's funny, um, you have the phone out, people got phones out, people looking, I know they don't want to be seen taking video. Also, another, another thing to consider, too, is that the way you flash your phone around shows what country you're from. I think that's my, 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 uh, what you call it, my, um, perception or at least my experience the way you look around if you look like you don't know where the hell you're going they're gonna be like oh this is a tourist because it's different when someone from Sao Paulo is taking photos they're doing it with kind of like exactitude they're doing it with like there's just a, 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 a body language to it right but then a tourist however how they flash photos and look around looks a little bit different so um, yeah See, these are like the little kiosks that serve like water, beer, and soda. Like this is newspapers, magazines. Um, also, I'll say, though this McDonald's is in a popular place, 
this McDonald's, there's no other McDonald's in Sao Paulo, which is super interesting. Uh, they have embraced a lot of the corporate chain foods. So the coconuts, the coconuts. You know, so we got a McDonald's here. <laughs> Big models. The side streets and stuff. Side streets, side streets. <laughs> This is the Museum of Art that I went, we went into yesterday and I showed you. Uh, of course, it's the Avenue of Paulista once again. Uh, a lot of things, man. I'm definitely going to be hitting up the, uh, the side streets in a little bit. But for now, I just want to take a quick walk. Just take that first walk. Just feel it. But as you, here's a trend too, I want to tell you, my friends. Uh, Wherever you go here, almost on every corner, day or night, you're going to be finding people playing music, singing, dancing, or doing all of it. So uh, it's kind of cool just like being able to have all that, you know? It's very, very cool, man. Museum. It's called the Museum of Art Sao Paulo, the mask, mask bike. And everybody's at the mask. Oh, they also have vendors on the side, too. Coca. Excuse me, Coca? <laughs> Sign said Coca. Yeah, singing. And then another side of people singing. Singing, singing. Singing on the side of the street. Instead of cotton candy. All the cops. See, also look, as you can see here, Starbucks. It's not a boobs. <laughs> got Starbucks here. Some music for the DJs. thankful to say that uh, I could go up to people and literally say, hey, can you take a, a selfie of me? Which is what I did. I took a selfie of myself. Or not selfie. I had to take a photo of me. So that's when you know you're in, you're in good place. When you go, you go whip your phone out and just do shit like this and nobody's really going to take it. But you got to get back to the discipline the moment you leave the street. Because anything goes. I said that the moment I got off the plane, anything goes. CNN Brazil. Alright, okay, I see you playing. Is this Fiesta? Fiesta? Sena? Oh, yeah. Have to take a, the train station. Oh, okay. The Trian. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. See? This is another reason why I tell you guys to walk around. Because you get to get uh, familiarized with shit like this. You know? You get to get familiarized. CNN. CNN Network Channel 10 is on again, real grown men, bro face, guy in your face, stay in place. 
crime lace, cash more beef, the scar face, chill. I thought it was cute, so I'm gonna take a photo, a video of a guy with a dog on his head. So cute. I love it. I love it, the dogs. The dogs is just cute. I got myself a little, uh, I don't know how you can pronounce that. <laughs> uh, check in mate. So it has mate tea in it. You know, the mate, matein. There's caffeine, there's nicotine, then there's matein. So it's matein in there. Rum. Uh, I forget what garana is. I forget what it is. It's a fruit. And then live. So there's the dog again. The cute dog. I got this shit on ice. Chill. Celsius, I believe, 27.7 Celsius, and that is hot. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a different kind of heat in Brazil. You gotta watch out too. Make sure you stand in between the cones. But you know what? They're not as crazy as Boston bike riders. Boston bike riders, man, they, they excuse me. Especially if you're in Harvard Square. Harvard Square, those people get angry. It's like it's their place, and how dare you? <laughs> All right, so I see some dancing. All right, there's some people dancing. It's super interesting because I like to know what style of dancing this is because it, it is almost like a uh, salsa. You know, maybe some. Yeah. Some Good time to just you know look around again. Um, there's the avenue of Paulista. Um, 
you can say it's touristy, but I mean, I'll say 90 to 99% of the people here speak Portuguese. So either they're from this country, Portugal, um, or they're from around the surrounding areas. Um, I should inquire, I should ask people where they're from, but obviously the business people are always uh, from here, for the most part. Um, I think they're natives here. But yeah. It's funny because everyone's walk, you know, the open beer, open liquor policy is super, like, you can just walk around, it's soda. Wine, beer, hard liquor, champagne, whatever. You can just walk around with it. And, and that's it. It's, it's not like America where it's like, you know, like you can walk around with liquor in your hands. And it's okay, you know? The nerve. So, oof. You see the sun. The sun is hot. Face is getting nice and little glistening. It means I'm sweating a little bit. And uh, I think Avenida Paulista that goes really, really far. If you see behind me, um, is it like this? It might get, you can see the Burger King perhaps, because I'm on selfie mode. There's a Burger King there. I mean, like, this is just typical, man. Like, you could even go into the downtown, like the real more pop impoverished, oof, the more impoverished area. I don't even know what to call downtown. I think it's like an, an impoverished place. Um, I don't know. They say more like homeless people live there, but you'll see Starbucks there. You'll see Starbucks. So um, you can say United States has a decent presence here, and this is around the time where uh, China, as well as Brazil, is considering taking their own currency at hand and saying, "Hey, um, we don't need your money, America. Uh, we don't need no education. We don't need no I don't know." I'm trying to sing this lyrics from. Uh, you two or whoever but like brazil and china are trying to form together like voltron and they're like yo we don't need your money we're gonna do it ourselves i mean i'm, I'm curious to hear with all the shit with starbucks and all that stuff like that so i don't know we'll see all right so this is like the tail end of paulista because that's where you start seeing traffic behind you um yeah yeah this is like where the cone ends I keep walking, of course, but I think this is probably going to be the threshold where, you know, this is the green zone over here, right? Where you could have your phone out, and then it starts getting from what orange to yellow to red zone. So, uh, from depending how far of uh, the meters you go. All right, so this place is called uh, the Park. I'm trying to remember what our name is. Well, we're gonna have to get the name of the place. Maybe I'll put it up on the video. This is the park of something. Um, maybe we'll see it right here. So this is what I want to say. I wish I could learn some Portuguese so I could, I could read shit a little bit better. And it's kind of like a museum type place too. You know, you have the museum thing going on. It's, like, it's kind of cool. It's like an outdoor museum. There's a period of history about certain things. You know, from 1891 to the 1920s. I'm assuming. I'm just only. I'm only gonna use the art of the deduction here. I'm gonna deduce from this. And I haven't had a chance to really like look and grasp, but all I can see is like different years. Um, I'm assuming. Okay, you can't give me five seconds to figure this out, but. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way to 2021. Perhaps I'm thinking it's the culture of what occurred here in Paulista. Like Paulista, how the culture grew from the, you know, the 1800s to where it is today. And I think that's what it is. I think that's what it's showing. It's supposed to be showing just how it has evolved over the years. So I think everything here is like literally, honestly doing something else right there. That's everything else is a mirror, but. All right, so I think it's called Parque Cultural Paulista. Parque Cultural Paulista. So, right? 
the cultural park of Paulista. And that's what it is. Okay. Puride and Asis. So you know, the people are eating, eating the food. The place. There's some more art too over here. This is enclosed behind a plastic case. Oh look, there's a porta potty. Oh, I hope that shit is open. Is it open? I don't want to use that shit. God damn. Lucky Mo Alphos. Alright, so this is the Avani uh, Avanista uh, so, uh, cu Cultural Park. And this is supposed to be apparently from the favelas, you know, in the hoods of certain parts of Brazil. And they're supposed to be poets, if not rappers. Because you know me, I see somebody in the microphone who's, you know, they, I, mean, I saw a black and I saw a fucking fitty, I saw a cap on. I'm like, all right, that's, he's on a microphone, that's a rapper right there. All right. Okay, go back onto Casa das Rosas. I don't know. So I don't know if the festivities have stopped because I don't hear the music. Maybe it's just so much more distant. But uh, this is very calm now. I don't know if there's like a certain time frame where people just do things, but here I am next to the hospital, Santa Catarina. Los uh, edificios, the buildings. As you look at the buildings, you guys know, have having fun. Oh, you missed it. So you got some guys having fun on the street, playing, I think, what the fuck this is, would be pickleball? No, I'm just joking. I don't even know. Somebody in the comments, please tell me, yo, this is what it is. Please do that. Because <laughs> I have it, no clues. The temperature is starting to get a little cooler really quick. All right. You know, we're here in Brazil. Oh, it was 73 degrees. It's one of those kind of weathers, right? Where if you have a threshold and it's high, the highest is whatever, you already know it's going to get colder as the day winds down. Excuse me. By the way, we're drinking a Vicks new. But you already know, like, if there's a threshold, you know it's going to get colder, right? So the threshold is 73 degrees. Oh, got the guy playing some ball. Say, hey, guys, I met some English-speaking people, which is super awesome. Él es de Venezuela. Él es de Brasil. Yo soy de los Estados, pero hablamos con, I don't know, we, we speak the same language. It's many same language. <laughs> so it's just super cool, like, really meeting these people out here right on the Avenida Paulista. Oh, so yeah, cool, dude. man. I'm, I'm glad you're having a good time, yeah. dude. Welcome hey, nice to Brazil. Brazil. You, were living, you were living in California. San Diego, California. Super That's freaking cool. We have a house super in there. Cool. Yeah. I love it. And have you been to America, too? Uh, no. No? Okay. Okay. Well, you're going to have to get out there soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to come visit. You got to come visit. Yeah. Stop by. Samba, okay. <laughs> Call it Samba. Hanging out with peeps right now. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> for uh, Sunday. This is what? This is for Sunday. Yeah. For Sunday? Just Sunday. Um, Sao Paulo has stopped the people go to make exercise.
having a good time hanging out with guy and monitors so this is the entrance of our uh, high school oh right there not not there right there so the, the high school is right, right there. there that's the high school it goes under it's like seven four and this was and this whole building's your high school was your high school like there's like a tv wow there's like the university two different universities High school wow, this big! Look at that. The depth of his high school and college, all in one building. So apparently, this is apparently this is the Japanese museum, or the Japanese house of Sao Paulo. Um, it's pretty cool. Getting going there. It's free apparently. So.